Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas Dead Money DLC. I no <laughs> The reason I didn't read the the uh whatever the note to Dean is because it said that it was going to do whatever whatever whatever. I honestly wasn't expecting that dialogue with um Father Elijah there. And I kind of want to read what the message to Dean Domino was, so I might actually just go back and have a qu quick peeksy at it. I'm demon spawn? What the fuck? Now, I am obviously going to go back to... Go back to the other save, but I just really oh, I need to You did not just save over my hard save, did you? No, I can't. I can't do that. So that's fine. I just wanna read what his message to no 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 blah 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 blah. Yes. Dean, if you're reading this, this is goodbye. You will have many years to read this message. Why you have smiled in my face and held a dagger to me, I do not know. You were rich, respected, even admired, loved by many. When you finally pass down here, pass away down here, either by your own hand or starvation, know that your greed has led you here for no reason I can understand. You have made a habit of using others for your own ends. Now the Sierra Madre is your reward. Whether you use blackmail or force or even play to Vera's greed, it will not help you down here in the vault. Greed has led you down here. <sighs> I hope it leaves you as empty as you left me. The door has sealed, the elevator has left, even Vera's voice will not unlock it. Now that on the night know that on the night of the gala event I shall raise my glass and whisper Fortunato in, in pace requis requisca I don't know how to say that. Okay, well, no, load. My mouse would cooperate. Alright. So, what now? Oh, this opens now. Where are you? Why are there, like, friendly lips? Seeing what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Come on. I knew you were Come on. Stupid. Got it. Don't Two of them down. Shit. Can't shut down the others. He's cut off access. Damn it. Put him down. Bury him. Whatever it takes. Thanks, Christine. I'm glad I kept you alive. Uh, pre war junk. Time is against you. It always That's what I got. Stick packs. Lots of them. rifle I'm one overboard but that's okay I can I can just stuff some food down my throat the gauss rifle I am so happy to see that shit oops I didn't mean to take the buff out uh I'm gonna wait now though um how do I get out of here Trying to follow this this little quest marker thing, but yeah, I want this to look on that. Oh god, how do I? How do I 
get there. That's sealed. How do I get up? What the fuck? This is just like a whole roundabout way. Oh, is it this way? save after I killed him. It took me way too long to figure out to get out of there. Or how to get out of there, rather. Where am I? Oh. Can I just kill them beforehand? Come on. Activate. You? Seeing what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Come on. Come on. Got it. Don't Two of them me. down. Shh. Shut down the others. He's cut off access. Uh, Damn it. Put him down. Bury him. Whatever it takes. I'll put you down myself. Time is against you. That was fast. I need your gauss rifle, dude. I'll find some way to fix it. I don't know how. Oh, ow. No. Over the cupboard. No, 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 no. I'm pressing tab! <laughs> Just take a fucking buff out and run. Where, where did I go last time? I forget. Oh no. Oh no, not this again. Not this again. Dude, no. Okay. So retarded and figure out where to go. I find it interesting that the holograms just don't give a shit anymore. Move out of my way. I got places to go. <laughs> I gotta get there fast. You know, why don't I just drop down? Right? No? I don't know. Was it the right thing to drop down? No, it was not. 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 Going, I'm going in circles. No. No, where am I going? I'm so lost. <laughs> At least I saved this time. I'm killing you. My god. This place confuses the shit out of me. <laughs> okay. Give me your shit. Press tab for Christ's sakes. Cram yourself full of cram. Okay. Okay, and then save again. And then take the long way around, apparently. This place just confuses the shit out of me. Back the way I came, but I don't think that that's the best way to go. I don't because I'm back down here, and then and then where do I go? It'll lead me here, which leads me where? I oh god, where am I going? Jesus Christ! <laughs> that beeping was going so fast! It was like doors! <laughs> oh god. How did I get out here? What the fuck? Do you 
you say anything? No. Okay. Now what? Can I... Can I leave? Try to leave and boom. Wait. Do I still have the collar on me? Not that I can see. I believe that's the end to this DLC? I... Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty freaking crazy. You are certain you'll never be able to get back here. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to even stay here. This place is like fucking creepy as shit. But you know what? I'm at my weight limit. I can't really carry anymore. Gold bars, I think. I can't even go back down there. So... <laughs> wow. This was quite an interesting DLC. I really enjoyed the atmosphere of this place. It was crazy creepy. It literally scared me. It, the creepiness factor of this DLC was very well done. And the ghost people, yes, they still freaking creep the fuck out of me. And I want nothing to do with them ever. But, um, yeah, I think, I think I'm done here. I think I'll just leave and never come back to this creepy, creepy place ever again. But it has been a very highly enjoyable experience, so kudos to you guys, development team who made this DLC. This was awesome, but I kind of want to know what happened to Christine. Where is Christine? <laughs> That's something to wonder about. And what happened to Dog? Where did Dog go? Did he make his way out? Or is he just still sitting there in the kitchens? Who knows? Well, I'll see you guys next time when we start another DLC. I'm not quite sure which one yet, but I think I'll be going in the order that they came out. So whatever is after Dead Money. I'm not quite sure. I gotta look that shit up. So we'll see you guys next time on Fallout New Vegas. See you guys. Oh, and for anyone who's wondering... Yes, before exiting this area, I went ahead and played a lot of blackjack and earned over, well, I guess they cap you at 10,000, but um, I basically started with about 34 chips and then made my way up here, so I'm gonna go trade these in for pre-war money. Oh, and because someone told me to go get it, here it is. The snow globe for Sierra Madre. Got it! Oh. And there's a Dean Secret Stash that I missed here as well, apparently. Sure, why not? Radiated Scotch. Wonderful. You've heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This story's different than the others. It's all in promise of beginnings. And the ending. Dog forgot himself as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, dog, consumed by hunger. And the other in reverse, the one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino, 
entertainer, singer, thief, had his last show on the Sierra Madre stage. The heist he spent over 200 years planning fell apart, just as the first, by underestimating his partner's strength. Not long after the courier left the villa, the lights in the theater shut off one by one. Only Dean's hologram remained on the stage, singing silently to an empty room. Still, as consumed as he had been with its riches and ruin, the Sierra Madre had held him captive long ago. Christine, her mission complete. Found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently. By choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch silently as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts, buried beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion that you can begin again. Change your fortunes. Finding it, though, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Before you go, I... We... Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness. Letting go... Difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day. That fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love. Life. Those to care for, and those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. I hope you'll return, in happier times. Until then, the Sierra Madre, and I, will hold you in our hearts. Wait a moment. Before you go, I... Alright, guys, that was the ending of Farewell Dead Money. Of I guess I can turn that off now. I left. I did a bunch of things in the... in the villa. I basically ran around and kind of picked up some things that I missed. Uh, basically a bunch of ammo and, like, medical equipment that I've missed and more chips, more pre-war money, etc, etc, etc. And then once I left the villa, the cutscene started, so I abruptly had to go and reload back to right before stepping out of the gate, because I wanted to record it. But yes, we're out, and I kind of forgot that this is how it started. That this is where where this all started. And look! There's a vending machine! And we can get a bunch of those rif those rifle round thingies. And a bunch of other stuff, so that's always good. Yeah. I think... 
I don't know how I feel about Christine staying there as, you know, just, uh, watching over the Sierra Madre. What is there to watch over, really? <laughs> but what is that about, you know, me meeting the other courier, you know? what? What is that? Two couriers. It said she remembered the other- that I reminded her of the other courier. Wow, I can't speak. But, what other courier? What are they talking about? Hmm. I don't know. Um. Oh, oh shit. I'm getting all my shit back and now I'm... I'm way overweight. Oh, great. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to uh, do something about this weight problem I'm having, and um, I'll see you guys next time on another DLC.